Dataset Enrichments is a brand new dataset feature that allows you to enrich your data by running plugins that augment rows of data that are stored in a dataset table. Let's dive straight in with an example. The uh, City of San Francisco run an open data portal with lots of data about the city. One of my favorite files on there is this one with um, 2,000 locations of films that have been filmed in and around San Francisco. So I can export that out as a CSV file. And now I'm going to open it up in Dataset. I'll use Upload CSVs. I will grab that CSV file there, and I've uploaded it in. So now we can do things like um, faceting by release year and see which years had the most movies. Let's look at the year 2020. And here are a bunch of films. We'll notice that the location here is not very descriptive. It says Hate Ashbury Street. There's no further information than that. But we can fix that by running an enrichment. I'm going to enrich that selected data, so these 80 rows where the release year is 2020. I'm going to put those through the open cage geocoder enrichment. Um, so here I need to give it a location. Remember that location string wasn't really enough information, so we're going to add comma San Francisco, California here. And then I can click this button. And what dataset goes ahead and does is it adds latitude and longitude columns to that table, and then it starts filling them in. It starts running through and um, geocoding each one of those rows in turn. If we refresh the page, we can see now we've got 17 down here. And actually, a few of them have showed up here. It turns out that the areas around the Transamerica building ended up being geocoded in the wrong place. But still, this is a pretty great visualization of that data. So that's geocoding, but let's try something a little bit more fun. I run a website called nichemuseums.com, which is a blog of all of the little tiny museums that I have been to, and there's over a hundred of them listed now. And this site itself actually runs on dataset. If you go to the slash browse page, you can see it's just another dataset instance. So I've downloaded a copy of that database, it's called Museums. Now let's try and do something fun with this. Here's my table of museums. These are already geocoded, I already know where they are. Um, so I'm going to apply a different enrichment. I'm going to say, let's do AI analysis with OpenAI's GPT APIs. I'll use GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is their cheapest um, API. And I'm going to give it the name and the description of each museum. And then I'm going to write some terrible poetry. I'm going to tell it, write a haiku. And I'll stick that in a column called haiku. Click that button. And we can see Dataset has already added this new haiku column over here at the end. And I can say, show me all of the not blank rows from there. And already it's written 10 haikus. It's going quite quickly. So Museum Mechanique gets um, arcade games of old, machines, tell tales untold, Museum Mechanique. Um, in shadows he looks, elusive giant's legend, Bigfoot's mystery. That's the Bigfoot Discovery Museum. So we have managed to generate some pretty terrible poetry but, but we did it automatically with a few clicks of a button. I'm going to um, edit the SQL query here just to show us the name, description, and the haiku. And here they are. Here are our haikus flowing in. That's kind of fun. I mean, it's pointless, but it is kind of fun. Let's do something a lot more useful than that. Again, I'm going to go back to my museums, and this time I'm going to enrich using GPT-4, which is a more expensive but better model. This time I'm just going to give it the description and I'm going to try and extract structured data from that unstructured text. So here's a prompt I prepared earlier. I'm going to say extract the people and years mentioned in this post. Return JSON. People colon blah 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 years colon blah blah blah. I'll actually set this as the system prompt. These are the instructions of what should be done with the data in the regular prompt. And I'm going to say I want that as a JSON object and I'll call it extracted. So this is going to extract people and years, where each year should be a year, and then a description of what happened in that year. I can click that button, and once again, it's um, added a new column, this extracted column. We can say, show the not blank versions, and it's already starting to churn away. So for Museum Mechanique, we've got no people and no years. Um, for this one, we've got a name, a person, Michael Rugg, who is the founder and collector of Bigfoot Evidence. This one's exciting. This is the... This is the Hyde Street Pier, where we've got some years. So in 1886, the Balclutha was built. 1907, the Hercules was built. And 1990, the Eureka was built. And if we scroll back to those descriptions, those are indeed the years of note in those descriptions. 
and this keeps on running. Um, we've now got the Bay Model Visitor Center, which reads, which again identifies the year 1950 as when they built it. Um, the Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum in 1920 is when they started collecting those antiquities. And the, the International Art Museum of America is founded by H.H. H. Dorji Chang Buddha III, who it is identified as claiming to be a reincarnation of Buddha. And he founded the museum in 2011. So this is all working, right? We're now getting structured data from that unstructured text, um, which I think is a really powerful capability. Let's do one more thing. My museum's website has a lot of photographs. Here are the photos from the Bigfoot Discovery Museum. And I don't have alt text on those photographs yet, something I've been feeling quite guilty about. So what I can do here is I can say, find me all of those photos where the file name contains Bigfoot. And here they are, there are those five photographs. And I'm going to imply the GPT enrichment again, but this time I'm going to use GPT-4 Vision. So this one here needs an image URL. And for that, we actually know that we need to combine that with a bit of extra text. So I'll paste that in here. And then for the prompt, I'm just going to say, describe this photo. And that's it. I'll put this in caption. So now I click enrich data. Once again, it's added that caption column. I can say, show me the not blank ones. And a few seconds later, here's that first description. In the photo, we see an elderly man with a full white beard and glasses, wearing a cap and a blue denim shirt, seated behind a cluttered desk. So he has a stream with the various items. He seems to be engaged in conversation. The backdrop is a room full of... This is an incredible explanation of this. This is several paragraphs describing this wonderful photograph here. I'm really excited about the potential for the Vision API. Each of these enrichment is a plugin for Dataset, and I've tried to make these plugins as easy to build as possible. So if you have an enrichment that you want to develop, you can get that up and running really easily. If you're interested in trying this out, please come and join us in the Dataset Discord, where we're happy to talk you through this and talk about ideas that you might have.